morning. So my discussion for today is module 1, Evolution and, the, and Dynamics of Criminology. So first, let's go to definition of criminology or etymology of the word criminology. In 1885, the Italian law professor Raphael Garofalo coined the term criminologia. Okay? But the first first person or yung kauna-unahang tao na gumamit ng term na criminology is cred uh, credited to Paul Topinard. Si Paul Topinard yung kauna-unahang tao na uh, gumamit doon sa term na criminology. Paul Topinard is a French anthropologist in 1887. The suffixology refers to a science or branch of learning and the term implies a scientific study of crime or criminals. So, ang ology daw, okay, is refers to science or branch of learning that implies a scientific study of crime or criminals. Yan yung ibig sabihin ng ology na suffix. So, the birth of criminology as a science is usually traced to 19th century in Europe. So, ipinanganak yung word na criminology noong 19th century sa Europe. So, yan po yung birth of criminology. Next, criminology is a body of knowledge regarding delinquency and crime as a social phenomenon. It may also refer to the study of crimes and criminals and the attempt of analyzing scientifically their causes and control and the treatment of criminals. So, sa, ang criminology is a body of knowledge regarding delinquency and crime as a social phenomenon. So, dito sa criminology, okay, uh, nag, or, this is uh, regarded as a social phenomenon of crime or delinquency. And it may also refer to the study of crime and criminals. Ang criminology din, din daw is, ang pinag-aaralan dito is crimes and criminals. Next, criminology is the scientific approach to the study of the nature, extent, cause, and control of criminal behavior. So, so ang criminology din daw is pinag-aaralan din dito yung nature, extent, cause, and control ng criminal behavior. It can also be defined as the scientific study of causes of crime. Okay? Pwede din daw siyang maging uh, scientific study ng causes. Okay? Kung bakit nagawa yung krimen na yun. Ano yung cause kung bakit nagawa yung krimen na yun. In relation to man and society. Kasi, Sino ba ang gumagawa ng krimen? Tao. Okay? Saan ginagawa ang krimen? Sa society or sa community? And define rules, regulation for himself and others to govern. Also, criminology is defined as the entire body of knowledge regarding crimes, criminals, and the effort of the society to prevent and repress them. It is a multidisciplinary study of crimes. This means that many disciplines are involved in the collection of knowledge about criminal action including the following. So, sa criminology lang naman kung tukunin natin yung pinaka-idea niya is about crime and criminals. The study of crime and criminals. Next, so, uh, sociology. Okay? So, eto, meron tayong tatlo. Ang sabi kasi dito, Okay. Uh, this means that many disciplines are involved in the collection of knowledge about criminal action including the following. So meron tayong tatlo. We have the sociology, psychology and the psychiatry. So unahin natin yung sociology or sociological criminology. The study of crime focus on the group of people and society as a whole. So sa sociology Okay? Ang uh, ang pinaka-focus nito is yung group of people and the society itself as a whole. Okay? It is primarily 
primarily based on the examination of the relationship of demographic and group variables to crime. So, sa sociology, ang pinag-uusapan lang natin dito is yung group of people sa isang society as a whole po sila. Next, psychology or psychological criminology. The science of behavior and mental processes of the criminal. It is focused on the individual criminal behavior, how it is acquired, evoked, maintained, and modified. So, dito sa psychology, okay, ang pinag-aaralan dito is yung, yung behavior and mental processes ng isang criminal. Okay, nakafocus ito sa individual criminal behavior kung paano na-acquire, okay, uh, na-evoke, na-maintain, and na-bodified yung mental process na yun or yung behavior na yun. Next, psychiatry or psychiatric criminology. The science that deals with the study of crime. Through forensic psychiatry, the study of criminal behavior in terms of motives and drives that strongly relies on the individual. So, sa psychiatry naman, okay, sabi dito, uh, deals with the study of crime through forensic psychiatry. So, ang pinag-aaralan pa rin dito is yung criminal behavior. Pero, okay, in terms naman ngayon siya sa motives and drives, okay, nung individual na gagawa ng krimen. Ano ba yung motive or drives ng individual para gawin niya yung krimen na yon? Within this definition are the three important areas of interest. Okay? First, the development of criminal law and its use to define crime. Pangalawa, the cause of law violation. Pangatlo, the methods used to control human behavior. So, yan yung tatlong mm, importanting areas of interest. Okay. Next, scope of the study of criminology. So, una, study of the origin and development of criminal law or penal law. Study of the causes of crimes and development of criminals. Study of the different factor that enhances the development of criminal behavior such as, okay, we have seven. Okay, we have the criminal demography, criminal epidemiology, criminal ecology, criminal physical anthropology, criminal psychology, criminal psychiatry, and victimology. So, una nating itatakal is yung tinatawag nating criminal demography. Criminal demography, the study of the relationship between criminality and population. From the word demographic or demography, okay, the relationship between the criminality and the population. Yun po ang tinatawag nating criminal demography. Kapag criminal epidemiology naman, relationship between environment and the criminality itself. Yun naman po ang sa criminal epidemiology. Okay? So, yun yung sa criminal epidemiology yung uh, environment and the criminality. Ano yung criminality? Yung krimen na nangyayari. Okay, bakit kapag ganito yung environment, ganito din yung krimen uh, na nangyayari? Sa population naman, karaniwan naman kapag uh, overpopulated tayo, doon nagkakaroon ng krimen. Okay, next, criminal ecology. Study of criminality in relation to spatial distribution in a community. Next, criminal physical anthropology. Study of criminality in relation to physical constitution of men. Okay? Uh, kagaya ng sabi ko sa inyo, uh, physical constitution of men. Uh, kapag ba yung katawan mo is payat, ganito ba yung magagawa mong krimen? Kapag ba matabag, ganito? Or kapag ba uh, maskulado, ganito? Ganun po. Physical anthropology. Sa physical uh, appearance ng isang tao. Next, criminal psychology, study of human behavior in relation to criminality. Kapag psychology, human behavior po ang pinag-uusapan natin dyan. Pag criminal psychiatry naman, human mind naman. Okay? Huwag kayong malilito sa dalawa na yan. Psychology, human behavior, psychiatry, human mind. Victimology, ito naman yung pag-aaral natin kung ano yung rule ng victim victim in the commission of the crime. Ano ba yung pinaka-rule ng victim para magawa yung krimen na yon? 
Okay? So, yan po yung scope of the study of criminology. Next, this distinction between criminology and criminal justice. Criminology explain the etiology of origin, extent, and nature of crime in society. Whereas, criminal justice refers to the agencies of social control that handle criminal offenders. So, sa criminology, okay, ini-explain niya yung etiology or origin. Also, the extent and nature ng crime sa society. Yung criminal justice naman, eto po ay isang ahensya, okay, na kumukontrol or nag-handle sa mga criminal offenders, sa mga uh, tao po na nakagawa ng krimen. Sila naman yung hinahandle ng criminal justice natin. Next, we have principal divisions of criminology. So, we have three. We have criminal behavior or criminal etiology, the scientific analysis of the causes of crime. Okay, scientific analysis. Uh, parang uh, analyzation kung paano ba nangyayari yung krimen. Next, sociology of law, the study of law and its application. Sa sociology of law, ayan naman yung pag-aaral ng laws natin. And also, kung paano ito maia-apply. Next, penology and correction, the study that deals with punishment and treatment of criminals. So, penology and correction, okay, ito naman yung pag-aaral sa punishment. And kung paano uh, matitreat yung criminals. Okay kung paano magagamot yung criminals para maging uh, or para magbago ulit sila. Maging good citizen ulit sila ng bansa. Note other author added criminalistic or forensic science which concerns about crime detection and investigation. Furthermore, victimology already considered as one of the divisions. So, yan po ang principles division natin ng criminology. Next, nature of criminology. So, we have four. We have an applied science, a social science, dynamic, and nationalistic. So, una sa applied science muna tayo. Sa applied science, anthropology, psychology, and other natural sciences may be applied in the study of the causes of crime while chemistry, medicine, physics, mathematics, and many more may be utilized in crime detection. So, ito yung mga science na pwede nating uh, magamit. Okay? Para madetect ang isang krimen. Next, social science in as much as crime is social creation and that it exists in a society, its study must be considered a part of social science naman sa social science, okay, nag exist ito sa society. Next, dynamic, criminology changes as social condition changes. So, ang criminology daw, okay, nag-change as long as nag-change din yung tinatawag nating social condition. That means that progress is concordant with the advancement of other sciences that have been applied to it. So, once na nag-change yung social condition natin, nagbabago din yung tinatawag nating criminology. Next, nationalistic. The study of crime must always be in relation with the existing criminal law within the territory. So, yung uh, pag-aaral ng crime must be in relation kung ano yung meron tayo or kung ano yung nag-exist na criminal law natin dito sa bansa. Okay, yun po ang tinatawag nating nationalistic. So, that was the end of my discussion. So, I hope uh, you understand. And thank you. And also, God bless.